My name is Brian Bent, I'm an artist. I paint, I surf, I skate, I build cars. I try to make three-dimensional atmosphere to enjoy. <laughs> Started surfing when I was going into high school. My uncle Rocky, you know, he's an international surfer. Rocky's so cool, you know, I cut my hair like my Uncle Rocky. I wore the same clothes, he, kind of he, how he did. He'd give me his old trunk, so I wanted to, of course, be a surfer. First, I wanted to do a floater over the, you know, over the foam. That was the first thing. And I, I even actually, I think I dreamt surfing before I even could surf. In the early 80s, when I was still riding shortboards, my buddy had his dad's longboard, and I started riding that, and I remember the glide on that. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is it, you know? You can do it like, ride like a shortboard, basically. That was the whole thing of trying to, trying to ride a longboard like a shortboard, plus we could run to the nose. So we would be, you know, a couple of my buddies, we'd get the lift, do big roundhouses. guy came up to me one time and, and he just he looks at me and he goes he goes why like and I went I couldn't tell him I don't know I just like to ride longboards <laughs> I was literally surrounded by music and vintage stuff so I got into my uncle's records pulled out a Dick Dale record put it on because it was early 60s and I wanted to be like early 60s riding longboards and started just playing a t guitar to that and that's how I got into playing music. I don't have any fears of dressing the way I do or making things because I'm kind of doing it for what I'm into. So if somebody comes up and goes, dude, what's that? Well, it's not what I'm into, so, you know, I'm not hurting you, you know. The that I'm using now are bought at the crowd sale for three bucks. One of the most freeing things is to find who you are and be good with it, for sure. I started painting since I was little. My uncle Rocky was uh, started drawing waves, and I would copy his waves. I started working for Becker in '85, building skateboards during the Christmas rush, and I started drawing characters on the on the skateboards. And then pretty soon, I'm doing the displays of I'm, I'm building out the interiors of the stores. Well, the owners came down and checked it out. And said, "Well, would you want to do this in the other stores?" And I said. Totally. All of a sudden it turned into this three-dimensional, Becker surfboards, like three-dimensional canvases of surf shots from Malibu to Encinitas. So I was developing the style through Becker and I didn't know, you know, I was going to be painting for a gallery. I got a call. There's a lady from a gallery in, North, in, in Hollywood that wants to talk to you because she saw some of your art in the Malibu store. And she said, well, let's do this, this show called Architect Tour. And she goes, I want you to do iconic or mid-century architecture mixed with muscle cars. When you start painting for a gallery, all of a sudden you, you become like, oh man, I want to be painterly. The crazy thing is, is when Rhonda came down to check my first stuff, she goes, well, they look kind of confused. And she goes, I just want you to paint you. I don't, I, you know, your style. All of a sudden, I didn't really have to be anybody that I wasn't. And that's when my stuff started really taking off. There it is. I got interested in hot rods being a minister at the hot rod church. I had old, old cars and I, before that, but we wanted to build a, a hot rod for, the, for a mascot. The Model A are just like little hot rod jalopies and like, you know, they bounce around and they, you know, they're fun, they're zippy. It's something about the simplicity of getting something that's really running on its own, I think. 
you know, you build these things. Everything was overbuilt back then and very simple. That's, I think, why hot rods, it's, they're very easy to build. To me, I just like these crazy machines. I saw a guy, barely enough hair to grease, he was probably in his 70s or early 80s, hanging out of this little, this black coupe, you know, Montelay coupe. And I said, look, Lord, if I'm good with that. And it's almost like, without putting words in the Lord's mouth, it's like, you good with this? I'm like, I'm good with that. So, hey, as long as I'm here, I'm gonna be rocking that era, you know.